Hello and good evening. This is Cody, your dear loved engineer. Welcome back. And it's once more Python Zero time. Yay! Uh, today uh, I promised you to do um, today uh, plotting. Uh, last time I promised it, and uh, my promises are pretty solid. Believe me. So um, I want to show you how to create fancy, cool plots. And the most awesome thing here is. Um, especially 3D plots because they're usually very difficult. I tried doing good 3D plots sim uh, in a fast way in many languages like Java and uh, so forth but um, yeah Python um, kinda yeah it's it's nowhere as simple as here. Um, now what is to mention is that um, once more uh, very similar to NumPy watch the vid previous video um, they oriented plotting very much like MATLAB um, so um, if you have ever been working with MathWorks um, this will look a lot familiar. Now let's get started. Um, yeah you, you have to um, uh, import the plotting library here. Uh, I import this one here as a PLT because <laughs> I don't want to type this all the time. Uh, we would be doing the tutorial like in a few years <laughs> still <but laughs> if I wouldn't uh, use this abbreviation. Now um, it's really really simple so um, you just call for example oh yeah we need some data so um, let's say we need a vector oh, if you don't know this uh, command watch the previous video so we will create a vector from 0 to 1 with 100 steps so it's just linear um, oh yeah I uh, forgot NumPy actually. So um, we have this and uh, yeah we can just simply say okay XY very simple and for plotting a line very important a line uh, you use this plot command and you throw in X and Y and similar to MATLAB we want to have a line plot that's why I'm using this minus. Um, I want to have a red line and uh, yeah let's use oh no let's skip the symbol you can also use like an o means a circle symbol or an x means a cross symbol now um, let's do this and uh, once more it's popping up on the wrong window but um, this is the line which we plotted so this is nothing special at all um, it's just important to mention that um, once you do this plotting here um, yeah, it's just one command. This is really um, similar to MATLAB because you can also do it in uh, one command. But um, I will show you how to do it properly um, when you're dealing with uh, larger data sets. Now, um, there are more different um, data types um, for plotting. Um, one which I really want to mention is a scatter plot. So um, let's just generate some, I don't know, some random data. Um, let's use, I don't know, 50 data points um, in X and uh, yeah, let's also do this in uh, Y um, just some random data and uh, the second function if you have just, you want to plot dots uh, somewhere in the space um, yeah, simply use a plt.scatter um, now I will, uh, here, here this one does not apply you cannot, in scatter function you cannot use this here um, you have to specify with the optional argument, for example, what kind of marker you want to use or uh, the color, like here, red. Um, and uh, yeah, w when we uh, show the data, you see it's, it's really nice. The random numbers are generated between 0 and 1 always, and you get this um, very simple plot. Also note how you can save here and uh, do a uh, a few um, stuff whatever like zooming in and yeah really really cool um, there's a lot you can do here um, play around with it when you're um, that far now uh, there is um, one more plot I want to show you and it's called um, yeah let's let's create some more data um, let's say yeah well, let's do 400 because if you have uh, some values here in X and you want to have like the probability distributions of these axes um, you can make a histogram actually and uh, really really simple just call the hist um, command and then again plt.show and what you will actually see is um, 
the probability distributions and you can see here um, those are kind of like uh, it x the x-axis here <laughs> is the x x is very similar uh, from 0 to 1 and in this containers it is counting how often this value occurred occurred now actually I think he uses by default 20 or 25 bins uh, don't wanna <laughs> count this one but um yeah, it's, it's maybe a little bit more obvious when I do, uh, I don't know, a normal distribution. So let's say mean zero, standard deviation one, and let's use, yeah, again, 400, come on, cause, cause we can. And now let's do both at once. And here we are. Uh, this is the distribution. Um, very simple. You can you can easily look it up. Uh, very useful. Um, I check this many times when I have um, results and I want to show the the probability um, of certain values. Like the probability for zero is here the highest, and and so forth. Very very simple. So um, this is kind of like 1D plotting. So um, let's reset the window here. Um, now I, I'm gonna show you 3D plotting, uh, and I think um, yeah the the plots already look quite good here in PyPlot, um, so I, I think it is better than MATLAB already um, from the style. Now I want to show you how to do 3D plotting. Uh, 3D plotting um, you need one more import, okay? So it is not working uh, as you're currently doing. Um, what you actually want to do is um, you need this line here. <laughs> I had to copy it. I I use this line maybe a, a hundred thousand times now, and I still cannot remember it. This from MPL toolkits dot mplot three D import the x three D whatever. I I never get this. Um, <clears throat> just import it, uh, copy it, or whatever. If you Google it, uh, always Google when you don't know how something is working in programming or Python. Just Google it because Google knows everything. Now, what we want to actually do is um, I want to create uh, a figure, which is the window which you saw, okay? And um, what I want to do is inside of it, I want to put in uh, the the plot itself, and this um, will be actually a 3D plot of different styles, okay? So just that you uh, remember that um, this window here is the figure. And this is called um, here a subplot, okay? So um, if you if you now see the um, variable names, um, just that you remember, uh, watch on the left side, and you will see. Because um, this is the the, the clean way. Um, you first create the window or the figure, um, and then you simply do um, create a subplot, okay? So um, these one by one 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 is more like if you want to put more of these subplots into this window. Um, look it up. Um, maybe I will do it uh, in another tutorial video. And what you actually have to do is you have to specify projection three D. Now, if we, if you wouldn't specify this one here, uh, it would be two D by default, like you've seen before. And if you want to embed a three D, um, uh, have a three D subplot, you need this projection equals three D. And uh, this actually uses this one here. That's the reason why we had to import it. Now, um, let's create some data. I don't know, numpy dot. Uh, yeah, let's do something cool, a 3D line plot. So um, uh, let's do, let's go from zero to four times, uh, let's say numpy pi. Okay, so we go from f zero to four pi. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really hungry for pie currently. Oh yeah, I could, I could use a good pie. I have to call some, some friend of mine. She's very, very gifted w uh, with pie, so um, <laughs> so she can bring me some. Uh, so uh, we we just do uh, a parametric curve. So um, this is the the para parameter is t. We say t uh, x is sine is t, cosine t is Oh no. Oh yeah. No, okay. Then let's do y sine t. And uh, actually z is just t and what you can do is now um you can call sp uh, this plot, okay? And you just input um these uh, line values 
and uh, yay. Oh, I missed this one up. Uh, so, um, this is the 3D plot, and now I, I don't know any programming language where it's so simple um, to create 3D plots. Um, this is really what is a very, very annoying creating um, 3D animated stuff like this. Um, I want to note though, this is not high performance. Like if you have 50,000 data points, um, this will be really, really laggy. But um, as you can see here, uh, it's running quite fast for uh, the amount of data which I'm using. So um, it's totally fine. Um, the same, uh, this is the plot function. Um, I think I don't have to tell you that the scatter function is working the same. And this is really not worth uh, men mentioning in, in my sense. Now, I want to show you one more. Um, so, uh, surface plots. Um, these, are, these are really worth it. So, what we want to do is, um, let's go from, because I love you, minus 4, no, minus numpy.py to, yeah, I'm, I'm into pi today. <laughs> totally. So um, now comes the tricky stuff. We wanna we have a vector here. Um, so um, just imagine you have this interval, um, which where we have uh, values, okay, at certain point. Uh, very very awesome drawing skills incoming. And um, what we actually wanna do is um, we wanna create a two D grid. Um, this is one of those um, NumPy functions which I use quite often so oh yeah that that one was a rush um, so what do we what do we want to do is we input in a function um, which you will see in a second we input uh, these two vectors and what we'll actually do is it will create a grid along these like it aligns these and creates um, data points uh, I'm so bad at drawing currently it's it's too late <laughs> Uh, it, it's also Sunday, so maybe that's also a reason my body tells me, dude, you need to, you need to calm down. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just great creating a grid here, and it's using these um, uh, these these vectors here as kind of grid outline. Okay, so um, the function which I'm calling, um, let's call it large x and large y is uh, mesh grid. Okay. And uh, let's drop in x two times because then we have a really really um, nice grid. Oh yeah, I forgot how many points. I don't know. Let's do two hundred because two is an even number, and I like even numbers. But I'm uh, yeah. What I like more are uh, are the Fibonacci numbers. But um, you know that's that that's perfect uh, personal um, personal love. Um, so if you watch up the shape, you actually see that it's a matrix. Um, so uh, the first dimension is the x and the y, um, and so so this is not a vector anymore, just for you to know. But the cool thing is we can still do vector arithmetics. So um, let's just call this um, I don't know. Let's call this function uh, z equals uh, sinus x y. And now comes the cool stuff. So um, we plot the surface and just do x, y, z. Really, really. Uh, ah, no, this is not gonna work. First, <laughs> yeah, I, I want to to have a shortcut, but um, you need to know in life there are no shortcuts for the for the very important stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, here, there you go, and uh, let's show the figure. Oh no, what have I done? So, uh, as you can see, I made it a lot, of very wavy. Um, yeah, maybe I will I will just limit the, the um, data to, I don't know, just do 0, 1. Maybe I was too ambitious before. So let's do the mesh grid. And then the figure, the subplot. And yeah, here we go. And now we can plot it again. So, oh no, I used it. Oh, shame on me. I, I forgot to do the Z again. Um, so, figure subplot. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
yeah, this one here. And then we can plot the surface. And now it has to work. Man, I, I'm I'm co totally overdoing it. Yeah, here it's much much smoother. I use uh, two large um, ranges of X. So um, here you have a really really nice surface. And this is like uh, I really like how how they they kind of render it um, quite nicely here. So this is the the um, plot surface. There are um, different plotting functions for three D. Um, like I said, but I think this is more than enough for you in the beginning. Um, use this um, plotting, it's really really awesome and in no other programming language you will ever um, get 3D plots this fast, okay? So um, I hope you liked it, um, like it, if, <laughs> if you like it, like it, <laughs> or subscribe or whatever, or simply uh, do, your, do your thing. Uh, I will do mine now. <laughs> Have a nice evening.